so for every project that I like to do I usually go ahead and go to my favorite yarn which is Red Heart Super Saver I also have a big collection of Red Heart um, I use variegated and I also like to use the regular worsted weight acrylic yarn and I also tend to use a lot of the Red Heart with Love as well for this project you are going to need any worsted weight yarn in your stash I tend to gravitate towards these variegated yarns these variegated yarns are very beautiful and they make great yarns for these projects for dog sweaters uh, variegated yarns are kind of hard to uh, find a project for and I think that dog sweaters make a perfect project which is why I tend to gravitate it towards it more and as you can see I also have some I love this yarn variegated yarns you can find this at Hobby Lobby as well but I did not use any of these colors for my project however I did use this color right here this color right here is bright mix the other color I used today was this color right here and this color right here is pretty in pink and you can find these yarns at Joann's, Walmart, or any retailing store that sells yarn. You're also going to need some scissors for this project. And for today's project, we will be using a H8 5mm crochet hook. Hi everybody. So to start this video, um, you want to grab some worsted weight yarn, any colors that you'd like to use. I am using uh, Pretty in Pink. From Red Heart and I'm also going to be using the color Bright Mix from Red Heart and it's this pretty purple variegated yarn with some blues and greens and some pinks so I'm using pretty and pink for the surrounding neck so to start off you want to make a slip knot You want to chain a total of 42. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I'm going to continue to chain uh, 42, and when I am done with my 42, I will be back in just a moment. So we now have a total of 42 chains okay and what we want to do is make sure we straighten out our chain right like that so then that way it doesn't twist because if it twists we're going to have to do it all over again so I'm connecting it to the very first chain that we created and I'm going to slip stitch that through just like that okay so make sure that your uh, chain is straight so now that I've done that, you are going to chain three. One, two, three. Now this is round one. For round one, and here and throughout the whole pattern, our chain three is going to count as our very first uh, double crochet here and throughout, unless I say it's not. So being that this is our very first double crochet, we want to go into the next chain for a double crochet and of course I am going to be uh, crocheting over my straggler so I don't have to you know uh, tuck them in later Okay. so for round one you're just going to place uh, one double crochet all the way around and round one is always the hardest for me because you're trying to work into these chains as fast as you can it's all wiggly and whatnot. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue in the same fashion, placing one double crochet all the way around. Go ahead and repeat this, and you should have a total of 42 double crochets all the way around. Okay, so we are back from round one, and all we are going to do is connect to the top of the chain three from where we've begun. And I wanted to tell you that um, 
for those who are starting off new and maybe they're making their very first sweater, um, if you don't know where the chain three is, the top of the chain three, uh, you're going to count one right here, two onto the next one, and then three right there is the top of the chain. See that? See this first little V right here is it the top of the chain three. And we're going to slip stitch right there. And the reason why I mentioned that is because when I first started crocheting, I remember when uh, people on YouTube, I would be trying to follow their uh, directions. I wasn't able to identify exactly where the top of the chain three was. I always top of the chain three was like right here. So I was never correct where I was putting my um, hook, you know. So I was missing stitches or adding stitches, better yet. So just wanted to point that out. For round two, we are going to chain three, one, two, and three. And this is going to be our very first double crochet, so we don't do anything there. So what we are going to do is wrap our yarn around the hook, go into this very second uh, double crochet right here, and we are going to do what is called a front post double crochet. Now I'm going to simply show you what a front post double crochet if you are not familiar with doing it. Uh, so what you're going to do is wrap your yarn around the hook like a regular double crochet. I'm going to go ahead and put your hook right behind this double crochet. So go ahead and put it right behind right there. You're going to take your working yarn, yarn over, and you're going to pull it behind the front post double crochet. I'm sorry, the front post of <laughs> the double crochet. You're going to pull it up with your hook yarn over and there should be three loops onto your hook one two and three you're going to simply pull under two like that and then you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through two and you have completed a front post double crochet if you need more detail on how to do this stitch you can go ahead and go to a more detailed youtube crochet tutorial on how to do this and into the next uh, stitch, we will be working a front post double crochet. So we're going to double crochet right there. Into the very next stitch after this one, we're going to work here. Now we are going to work a front post double crochet. I don't know about you guys, but I find this stitch very fun. Into the next stitch, into the next stitch, we are going to uh, do a double crochet. Then we are going to put a front post double crochet. Then we're going to put a double crochet. And then we are going to do a front post double crochet. And then we work a double crochet. You're going to repeat this all the way around until you get to the end. Now this last stitch right here will be a front post double crochet. So if you don't end on a front post double crochet, you might want to check your work and see if maybe you added two of the same stitches, maybe you missed a stitch, or maybe your count is off. Okay, so we are back coming from round two. To move on to round three, we are going to simply connect with the slip stitch to the top of the chain three right there just like that okay now for uh round three chain three one two and three now all the way up until round four you are going to repeat this you're going to yarn over go directly into the second post right here and go over with a front post double crochet Oops, I hit my tripod. <clears throat> so wherever there's a uh, front post double crochet, you put one there. And wherever there is a uh, flatter piece, which you'll feel right here directly, there is a double crochet. You will definitely know the difference, especially if you're a beginner, because you will feel the front post. They stick out more. So right here directly, we're going to go in with a front post double crochet. 
After that, we are going to place a double crochet right here into the next stitch. And then again, we see up here a front post double crochet. So you're going to go ahead and put a front post double crochet right there. I'm going to repeat this and I will meet you guys at the end of round four, moving on to round five. Okay, so we just come to the end of round four and I just wanted to tell you guys, you guys don't exactly have to do as many uh, front post double crochets and double crochets. You can make it shorter or you can make it longer just by adding more or less. So I'm stopping right here, which is what my pattern calls for. And I'm just going to snip off the old color and I'm going to chain one and switch colors. So you want to change colors at this point if you want to follow exactly how I did the sweater. You want to start off with the chain three and double crochet all the way around. Now the chain three is always going to count so you don't do nothing there. So you're going to go directly into the second chain right here where that um, front post double crochet is. Okay, so now we are crocheting over those stragglers. Just like that. And you're only placing one double crochet all the way around. Okay. So go ahead and keep repeating one double crochet for round five. Okay, so we have come to the end of round five. And now we are going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Just like that. Okay, so now we are going to move on to round six. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Now we are going to go ahead and continue placing one double crochet all the way until we get to round eight. So the same thing we did from the beginning, which is just uh, placing one double crochet all the way around. Now go ahead and keep in mind too that um, if you add more, add less of the ribbing, you may need to add more, you may need to add less, and so forth. And I really absolutely love these colors. They look like unicorn colors to me so I'm going to go ahead and continue to let you finish all the way until you get to round eight and I will be back in just a moment as soon as I get to the end of round eight okay. so we've come to the end of round uh, we come to the end of round eight now what we are going to do is um, increase for round nine. And by that, we are going to chain three. There's one, two, and three. Okay, so we chain three. And so we are going to double crochet into the next five stitches for a total of six. So there's one, two, three, four, and five, and six. Okay, now we want to uh, increase into this next stitch, placing two double crochets. Okay, and here is our one, and two double crochets okay so there it is one double crochet in the first six stitches and then we place two double crochets into the same stitch okay now we will have a total of uh let's see we will have 48 double crochets in the end when we get done with the round okay so we're going to double crochet into the first six stitches. There's two, three, 
four, five, and six. Okay, so we have six double crochets there. And now we are going to place two double crochets. Okay, so go ahead and continue into the same fashion, placing one double crochet into the first six stitches and then place an increase of two double crochets after that. Okay, so we've come to the last stitch right here and we will end with a increase of two double crochets. Okay, I just wanted to note that to you guys um, so you know what you're supposed to land on. Okay, so uh, coming to the end, we're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three, which is right here. And we're moving on to round 10. Chain three. Okay. And all we're going to do this round is place one double crochet. All the way around. Just placing one double crochet for a total of 48 double crochets. So... Just place one double crochet all the way around. Okay, so I'm back from round 10 and I'm just slip stitching to the top of the chain three. Now moving on to round 11, we are going to chain three. There's one, two, and three. We're going to double crochet into the next three stitches, okay, for a total of four. We're going to chain up ten for the armholes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we are going to yarn over, skip eight stitches, one, two three four five six seven eight and into the ninth stitch right here we're going to uh double crochet to join okay right here where the purple is so we've created our first arm we are going to double crochet into the next 27 stitches not including this one so i'm at number 27 chain up 10 once more one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten yarn over skip eight and double crochet to join to the ninth stitch which is right here skipping a total of eight and then we're going to uh, double crochet into this very last stitch right here okay and there we have it we skipped eight okay one two three four five six seven eight into the ninth stitch and then we had one double crochet left now we're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three once more and here is our arms please excuse me if you can hear the dog in the back um we've been having some issues with the neighbors with their dog they put them out in the cold when it rains they don't care they let their poor little dog sit outside in the rain and bark because he's so cold. So I might have to report the neighbor soon, although I don't like to do that, but it's cruelty to leave an animal out in the cold. Okay, so we are now on round 11. Let's see. So we're moving on to round 12. So from round 12 all the way to we get to round 20, we are going to chain three and place one double crochet crochet all the way around oopsies can't speak this morning <laughs> so we're going to put one double crochet all the way around from round 13 all the way until we get to round 20. so you want to place one double crochet into each individual stitch on the chain bridge right here and that's what i refer to it as is the chain bridge because this looks like a little bridge so you want to make sure you have a total of 10 and you want to make sure you have the correct amount of stitches okay so we have four there's five six right here 
seventh. And we have eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now it gets tricky here. Okay, don't think that you're, you're going to skip this stitch. You're not going to because some people might go here and do this. Okay, you're not supposed to do that. So you have to go directly into this little hole right here because your count will be off. Okay, because we will be having a total of 54 double crochets uh, when you go into the stitch right here. So I'm going to let you guys go at it, okay? And you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side, on this side, and then double crochet in here and in here as well. And you're going to do this until you get to round 20. After round 20, we will be cutting off and finishing the rest of the back, and um, we will do the arms after. So I'm going to leave you guys to it because um, I've done this sweater in different sizes and you guys pretty much get the idea of what we're doing here um, because you're only putting one double crochet and like I said when you get to the other side of the chain bridge you're just putting one double crochet in each stitch and then I told you guys to not forget that immediate uh, double crochet chain one and then we're going to finish off okay so use some scissors I'm going to take these random scissors and Pull through just like that so let's take a look at what it looks like so far so we just take <clears throat> we just cut off our yarn uh, very mixed and yeah if you see my owie here now when I was finishing the rose I cut myself um, in the kitchen while I was getting something to drink but we're going to take the same color we've been using, which is Berry Mixed, and we are going to rejoin the same color where we just left off, but you want to make sure that your, um, your sweater is straight, okay? So we're going to rejoin ten, uh, to the 10th stitch from the chain 3, which is to the left side, which is this side. So here is our chain 3. This is where you finished off. Now, we're going to count from the chain 3, okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So right here, where this lime color starts, we're going to join our yarn, okay? okay so chain three one two three and in my pattern this does not count as a double crochet so into this first stitch we are going to be placing a double crochet into there okay <clears throat> and now we are going to double crochet into the next um we're going to double crochet into the next 40 stitches okay so we are back and i just landed on my 40 third double crochet counting from our first stitch where the chain three is okay you will have one two three four five six seven eight nine the nine stitches of the chain three ten eleven stitches that are unworked so now on row two we're going to chain three and of course this is um not our first double crochet so we have to double crochet right into the same stitch so we're going to uh, turn our work and we're going to place our very first double crochet right here into this uh, first chain three right there okay let me go ahead and zoom in here so we're gonna go and work a double crochet 
right into here into the chain three stitch and then we're going to double crochet across onto the other side Okay, so we're coming to the end right here. Okay, so this is 43 double crochets right here. We're not going to work into this chain, so um, you can go ahead and forget that that's even there. We're going on to uh, chain 3, and we are going to um, go ahead and double crochet into the same chain 3 space right there and uh, we're just going to repeat what we did this last round and just put one double crochet across until you reach the other side after that we are going to be uh, finishing off and then reattaching our old color which is this pink right here and we are going to start our ribbing in the back which is the fun part and then we're going to work on our arm sleeves okay so as you can see right here I just finished off on this last row right here so we went row one row two and row three row three is where we're going to finish off and as you can see I already have finished off okay so what I'm going to do is take my main color, which is the color right here that I used, Pretty in Pink by Red Heart, and I'm going to go ahead and get started a slip knot. Then I'm going to attach it with the chain three, and the chain three will count as a uh, double crochet in this uh, these next couple of rows. And I'm going to go ahead and start exactly where I finished off. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and I'm going to take my stragglers and um, kind of put them in the back and then tuck them in as I'm working. Okay, so what I'm going to do is crochet over these. So this counts as our very first double crochet, so we're going to double crochet into the very next stitch. And we're going to double crochet all the way across the uh, the row. And the best way to get rid of these stragglers is to double crochet over them. Um, because when you do that, then you don't have to, you know, weave in any ends at the end and worry about it. It's just one less thing that you have to worry about. So we're just going to go ahead and keep on double crocheting until we reach the end. And remember that um, that the chain three counts as a double crochet. So please make sure check to see, you know, if you placed an extra stitch here. Okay, so I've come to the end of the round, and when I told you to make sure that you don't put anything into the chain three, that's what I meant, that, you know, it might trick you, especially if you're a beginner. So I went ahead and put one double crochet for uh, row four. Now we're moving on to row five. And uh, for this one, we're going to chain three and turn, which I already have done. Now for this next row, we are going to start our ribbing. Now, we already know that this counts as our first double crochet, so we're not going to do anything into the stitch. Next stitch, we are going to put a front post double crochet. Okay, this is kind of like doing the band like we did in the beginning. So, if you've gotten past that, you can do it. 
Next, we put a double crochet. Now we're going to put a front post double crochet. Then we're going to do a double crochet. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and do a front post double crochet. Then do a double crochet. Now we're going to do a front post double crochet. Then we're going to do a double crochet. Then we're going to do a front post double crochet. So the it, the pattern just repeats like so and you will end on a double crochet. Now I think I did my sweater. I did my sweater um, four rows. Okay, so there's one, two, three, and four rows. And then right here is just the single crochets where I went around the whole sweater. So um, you can do this as long as you want or short as you want. Um, I did four rows and I'm going to continue to do so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and meet you at the end uh, before we uh, turn this off to finish our remaining rows. Okay, so I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three. And I'm just going to show you really quick on how to do this because I've pretty much explained this through my other videos. But um, what you're going to do is this counts as your chain three, this um, right here. Now we want to keep our stitches like they are already. <laughs> So what we're going to do is this counts as a double crochet. So what we're going to do next is go ahead and do a back post double crochet. And therefore it keeps it as a front post double crochet, just like that. I'm trying to get it up here. And then the next stitch, which is right here, okay, this little, we're going to flip that over and see that that is a uh, double crochet then we're going to do uh, a front post double crochet so we want to keep it that way so we do a back post double crochet okay then after we do a front post or back post double crochet we do a double crochet and then we do a back post double crochet next so um, you're going to repeat this. Let's see what row we're on. We're on one, two, three, four. So you're going to repeat this two more times before we finish off and then start our um, to a single crochet around the whole sweater. So here's a double crochet and now I'm going to do a back post double crochet. And you're going to keep mimicking what we've done on the other side. So you see how it's keeping it that way you want to continue it in this fashion until you get to row four and then after that go ahead and finish off and we will single crochet around our little dog sweater okay so so far this is what we have we have almost the sweater completed i just came back and i finished the ribbing on my sweater so as soon as I finished round four what I did was I chained one and put two single crochets in the corner and uh, went ahead and went down here and put a single crochet and single crocheted all the way around and as soon as I got back to here I put in a single crochet and then slip stitch to join and if you need a visual on how to do this please go ahead and um, uh, see how I did this on my extra small sweater video or my medium sweater it's basically the same thing so uh we already went ahead and did one arm sleeve so we're going to turn our work upside down and we're going to work on this armhole so okay so i went ahead and put a slip knot onto my crochet hook i'm going to begin here at this corner uh where our armhole is created so go ahead and put your slip knot there and we're going to chain three 
okay uh, this is our first double crochet into this uh, next stitch we're going to put a double crochet and we're going to put a double crochet into every stitch before we go ahead and begin our um, front post and double crochets and stuff so just put one double crochet and make sure your numbers are even I will have a number of 20 okay. and you can add a stitch or two like do 22 but you just make sure that your numbers are even you see how there's still a you know two spots I can put 21 and 22 well I don't want to do that because I want my um, the arm sleeves to be a little you know tight on them not tight but comfortable but I don't like it too I don't like my um, arm sleeves to be too wide so um, for round two we're going to chain three and you're going to do this here and throughout the tutorial um, we're only doing a total of three rows so you only got one more round to go and then we're going to uh, single crochet around so we have one more row to go and then we're going to go ahead and single crochet around the sweater okay so I went ahead and did round three off camera because it's pretty much the same thing all I did was chain three directly go straight into a front post double crochet then I went for a double crochet and then I did a front post double crochet and all I did was when I came around I ended on a front post and slip stitch to the top of the chain three so this is uh, round four okay and we're simply going to chain one and we're just going to single crochet around the whole sweater and you can then finish off and then uh, cut the um, yarn off and then weave in your ends.